again, my partner's going to have this here. I really enjoy the Z-Guard because it gives me the ability when I got that big guy on top of me where he can't crush me in, he can push me away using that leg in front, okay? So what he is doing though is he's leaving this right here open. Even if he's pinching down a little bit, he's still leaving room for me to slice through. So what I'm going to do is my left hand is going to get a grip on the sleeve first of all, okay? So I can get his hand away from me. My right hand is coming between his legs and I can either put my knuckles on the back. I prefer to put my hand right on his thigh so that I can kind of pry it a little easier, okay? I'm gonna pick my right knee up, all right? Now this I'm gonna do at the same time. As my knee comes down, it's gonna slice right between his legs and my left leg is going to pop up. And notice how my shoulder really pushed down on his hips to kind of stop him from opening back up or pushing me away. From here, I leave this hand in, I just start to walk up. I can use my head, I can use my chest to flatten him out. Once I get inside control, I can let out of that leg. Do it again. So again, we're here. He's got that chin in front in that Z-guard position. So I'm gonna get that grip on the sleeve and I'm gonna start to push it away. My right hand is coming in between, and again, I prefer to hook. You can just put the knuckles on the mat. I prefer to hook the leg. Okay? I'm going to step my right knee up. As quick as I step my right knee up, I'm going to switch and let my hips fall so that I'm right down on top of his hips. This knee hits the mat, this knee pops up. Again, I prefer using my head. You could use your chest, but I like to put my head right in his chest and just push forward. One more time. Z guard, grip, push away. Hand comes inside. As quick as my knee's up, I'm popping it right back to the mat so that I slice between his legs. Forehead right in his chest. Push, side control. With your partners, ready. One, two, three.